All right, hello again, everybody. Welcome to our next lesson here. This is an end to reconstruction. This is for our unit reconstruction. So our objectives and standards, or objectives and standards, excuse me, you will be able to identify problems that arose in President's, President Grant's excuse me, administration that impacted reconstruction. Uh, again, you can see President Grant there and explain how reconstruction came to an end. So we'll take a moment there to look over the standards. If you would, please, you have uh, two of them there. Please thank you. Please and thank you for looking at them. Like that. And our desired result. How did Reconstruction come to an end? How did Reconstruction come to an end? So political issues. Reconstruction was enforced under President Grant's administration. Remember that President Grant is Republican. The Republicans are the ones that are uh, kind of enforcing Reconstruction in the South. So President Grant is kind of a big supporter of Reconstruction. Um, Republicans also expanded economic programs um, during this time as well. Uh, banking rules were tightened. There were high tariffs. Tariffs are taxes on things coming into the country. So from like England or France or um, goods coming from other countries into our country. Um, so some people say that high tariffs help uh, keep American businesses and production strong. While other people say it's unfair not to allow other people to kind of, you know, invest in our country and things like that. Um, you know, that's a topic that still goes on today. Um, and then spending on infrastructure, like roads and uh, bridges and railroads at this time. Now, what they called sin taxes, or taxes on alcohol and tobacco, uh, that were put in place during the United States Civil War, were also kept. So, Republican economic policies were attacked by Democrats, and some Republicans are going to look to nominate someone else to run for president, actually. You might be thinking, well, why is that? Liberal Republicans tried to prevent Grant from becoming president again in 1872, and since they could not, they nominated their own candidate, uh, Horace Greeley, who you see here. Now, liberal Republicans also promised to pardon, or again, once again, pardon means to kind of forgive, nearly all Southern Confederates and to remove, and remove, excuse me, Union troops to gain support in the South. Now, Democrats actually are also going to nominate Greer, uh, Greeley, excuse me, to try to defeat Grant, um, despite efforts by liberal Republicans and also Democrats to get rid of Grant. Grant will win uh, re-election as president. But President Grant is going to have a couple of scandals um, during his second term. So multiple scandals hurt President Grant's administration. Secretary of War, the top picture here, uh, Secretary of War William Belknap, um, took bribes from merchants at Western Army Post. Um, Belknap actually resigned to avoid impeachment. And then the bottom picture here, uh, Grant's private secretary, Orville E. Babcock, was supposedly involved in filing false tax reports along um, with other government officials and distillers in St. Louis, Missouri. Now, this was known as the Whiskey Ring Scandal. Now, things were never proven against Babcock, but again, it didn't make President Grant's administration look too favorable in the eyes of Republicans or in the eyes of the American people as well to have kind of possibly corrupt officials in your government. There are also economic issues. Grant's problems continued as president with an economic crisis known as the Panic of 1873. So when banks started going bankrupt as a result of a larger bank making bad investments, the stock market fell. Businesses closed, and unemployment skyrocketed. So, due to political problems and economic crisis, Democrats are going to be able to gain power in 1874. So, Democrats regained control. Southern Democrats had gained control of governments in the South during the 1870s. We've already learned about terrorist groups such as the Ku Klux Klan that continued, or continued, excuse me, to frighten and intimidate African Americans and others. Now, election fraud was used to keep Republicans from gaining control in the South, and Democrats had control of Southern state legislatures, except in Louisiana, South Carolina, and Florida. I want you to remember that for a little bit, because those three states are going to play a very important role in what happens here in a little bit. So, election trouble. President Grant was not nominated for another term, so Republicans nominated a former governor of Ohio. He's the big picture here. And his name, uh, he was a former governor of Ohio, excuse me, um, Rutherford B. Hayes, 
while Democrats nominated a lawyer and former governor of New York, Samuel Tilden. He's the top picture there. Now, Hayes, again, the bottom picture, wants to end radical Reconstruction. He wants to do away with it. Now, Tilden, or Tilden, excuse me, uh, won many electoral college votes, but there were some votes that were disputed in those three states we just mentioned, South Carolina, Florida, and Louisiana, which Republicans controlled. Now, there's election fraud on both sides, by the Democrats and by Republicans, so Congress decided to appoint a special commission or a special group of people to solve the problem. Now, the group is actually split on what they think should happen, but the overall decision was to support Rutherford B. Hayes as president. So this gives you an election map here. You can actually see the electoral vote 50, oops, sorry, 50-50. Let me go back there for a second. I apologize. 50-50, okay? Um, the gray states are obviously territories can vote, but the red states are the ones that Hayes won as a Republican. The blue states are the states that um, Tilden won as a Democrat. Um, so you can see how close this election was, right? So again, Louisiana was very close, Florida and South Carolina. So again, the decision was to support Hayes as president, but again, some people say, hey, it's kind of a tie, so what do we do? So is there a deal? Congress could decide to accept or reject the suggestion by the commission, okay? Now, instead, supposedly, and people are still kind of discussing this, but supposedly, Southern Democrats joined with Republicans in the House of Representatives on a deal. Okay, again, this is supposedly. Southern Democrats would vote to accept the commission's decision of Hayes as president if Republicans would remove federal troops from the South, which would end Reconstruction. Again, Rutherford uh, B. Hayes' picture up there. Okay. Now, historians are still not sure, historians are not sure, if this deal took place but troops were removed from southern states after Hayes was sworn in as president. So Rutherford Hayes, B. Hayes, becomes president, and he does remove the troops from um, the south, kind of bringing about an end to Reconstruction. And when federal troops did leave the south, Reconstruction came to an end. All right, so our closure. How did Reconstruction come to an end? Think about the problems that President Grant faces that um, lead to some um, issues with Reconstruction. And think about the election of 1876 with Rutherford B. Hayes and Samuel Tilden and kind of the kind of controversy or what kind of happened there with that. And I'll help you answer your questions. Hope you have a great rest of your day or night and I hope to talk to you all soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.